All right, guys, if you have Amazon Prime, get rid of it. Get rid of the Amazon Prime plan, which is costing me $139 a year plus tax. Uh, my membership expires June. So what I did is I went into my account, Prime membership, went under manage membership. It says update, continue more, and I went and canceled it. And what you can do is you can cancel it and it'll expire when your year is up. So if you have a couple months left, you will then get your full value of your yearly membership. So why cancel it? All right. Why cancel it? Because you already get free shipping. You just got to spend uh, 35 bucks and it's not that hard. What you do, you go to Amazon. Again, it's the old uh old thing is you may want it but do you really need it so go to amazon here's the mentality you got to adopt if you want to not go broke and buy crap uh on impulse buy right go to amazon you want something all right i want this uh this rubber ducky all right i'm gonna put the rubber ducky in my cart and just make a mental note uh i'm gonna come back and maybe tomorrow and see if I really want that rubber ducky or just keep it and say you'll shop Amazon once a week, right? I know people go to Walmart every day, Sarasota Tim, um, but uh, I don't know why people go to the store every day and drive me nuts, I don't know. Anyway, I would just accumulate stuff in your Amazon cart, reach the minimum $35 spend, which was upped recently, until recently, non-prime members, could score free shipping by spending at least $25 on purchases, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even know that. If I would have known that years ago, I would never have had Prime. I, you know, you're always at least maybe gonna spend 50 bucks on uh, maybe some food items, some light bulbs, uh, cleaning stuff, whatever stuff you need to buy. It's most now with, with the uh, incredible inflation in this world, this country, which is breaking everyone's piggy bank. You're going to spend through 25, 35 bucks easily. Uh, yeah, so they're, what are they doing here? Amazon is testing a new approach, and some non prime shoppers will now need to meet a minimum spend of 35 to score free shipping. I don't care, man. I'd rather do that, get in the discipline of saving my freaking money. Because what you do, you go to Amazon, you want to buy crap, you get it boxes on your porch. You, you know, people don't pirate them and take them off your porch, which is now rampant. Uh, you'll open a box. So I don't even remember ordering this stuff. So again, it's just that dopamine. I ordered something who I'm happy. I spent money I don't have. Uh, I would just throw stuff in your cart, keep it for a few days, meet the minimum spend of 25, whatever, 35 bucks now at Amazon. Uh, they're getting, they're getting greedy. Uh, cancel your prime membership. You do not need it. Uh, and then boom, you're, you're just as good as prime. You're getting free shipping. And remember, they used to do two day shipping on Prime. Now it's like, eh, we'll get it to you, even though you're Prime, maybe in a week. So they, they kind of get you hooked that you think you're still getting one to two days shipping. You're not. You're getting about four to five, six days. Uh, not Again, another point is, do you really need it? You may want it, but do you really need it? So just cancel. Please cancel your Amazon Prime. Put that 139 bucks into your bank account. Keep it there. Memberships and subscriptions will destroy you because you forget you have magazines, online subscriptions, uh, gym memberships. Cancel the crap you don't use. This is the best way, the fastest way to start saving money. Now, man, things are so expensive. Just went to the grocery store and went, oh my God, it's almost doubled what I used to spend at the grocery store. Uh, yeah, not to mention gas and all this stuff. It's insane. So I would just cut the membership stuff out. Even consider Netflix, man. Do you really need Netflix? Watch all the stuff you want for one month. Kill it for a month. Uh, save yourself 17 bucks. They raise the rates. You got, they're sneaking up on you. I don't, it's almost like shrinkflation. I went to the grocery store, like I said, I looked at a bag of potato chips. It is barely, 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 barely. I wouldn't even say it's under. 50% full, the rest is air. I bought a bag of air, but at least it was buy one, get one. So I actually am getting one full bag of chips when I got two bags, get it? They're filling with air, it's shrinkflation. They're shrinking the bottles down. They're putting less in them, in the, in the stuff you buy at the store. It's, it's all shrinkflation, man. Uh, they're, they're just trying to profit 
off you because they can't afford it and they would just want to give you less for more money uh let's see you may need to spend more to score free shipping i don't care again it's all discipline you want to save money because over the year you may say crypto jim you're stupid i just want my stuff and i want it now all right good for you you'll go broke over the year add up how much you would have saved if you just would have waited accumulate stuff in your cart once a week you really don't need it the next day come on if you really need it go downtown and get it uh shop elsewhere too you can go to costco uh maybe even if you don't have a membership or you can go to walmart uh home depot and get the same crap most likely cheaper than amazon because amazon merchants have to uh, crank their prices up to cover jeff bezos high merchant fees seriously so you are sometimes paying more and also install the capital one plugin on your browser it'll find and let you know if you have the best price on amazon most times you go to ebay of all places evil ebay with their evil people that work there that stalk and harass you yeah look up that story that's an interesting side note uh they even have stuff cheaper and you get it like in two days it's amazing uh is amazon prime worth the cost i will save you on this no uh no this isn't true unlimited tv video well what they did now with prime video you used to be able to watch it commercial free now they've been pushing um their other video streaming service which has commercials which are horrible if you want to see how how decayed our culture has gone watch the commercials pharmaceuticals uh all this mixed cultural, they're trying to put this ideology out there. If you're normal thinking, you're gonna be like, oh, this is gross. I hate commercials. If I see a commercial, I either throw the remote through the TV or I put it on mute. I just hate commercials. So now um, Amazon will be having commercials in their prime videos, which used to be non-commercials. Commercials are horrible, man. I think they're disgusting. It's just, if you really sit back and analyze them and you haven't watched them in a while, You'd be like, what is this filth, this crap they're pushing on my brain? Just turn it off. So Prime is useless. Get rid of it. I think Amazon has peaked. I think they're going to be replaced by someone else soon. Uh, yeah, some other, maybe Walmart or someone's going to just take over the buy everything store. You know, I have everything for you and I'll ship it to you. But uh, get rid of the unlimited, I mean, the um, Amazon Prime annual for 139 bucks. Just get rid of it now and it'll, it'll ride out to your expiration date. And just like I said, put stuff in your cart, add it up. You meet the minimum spend of 20. I think it's 35 bucks now, right? Big deal. Big deal. And then boom, you still get free shipping. You're getting the same time anyway. Are they going to say, oh, he's not a prime member. So we will hold his box an extra two days. No, they don't care. They're putting those damn boxes. They're stuffing them. Put them on the conveyor belt. Robots are taking them out to the trucks, loading the pallets, and then boom, they're shipping them from the uh, fulfillment centers, Miami, New York, LA, all that crap to your house. Uh, yeah, they are doing it. So they're not gonna, you're getting the same treatment as a prime. You're just not the the, the fool that's spending 139 bucks. Um, yeah, I don't know, that's it's short and sweet. I saw this article and I really didn't know there was a minimum spend if you could get still still get free shipping. I'm out. Like I said, I'm out. I, when I read that and I looked through it and I saw someone else talk about it, I said, I'm done with Prime. Went and canceled. Like I said, put 139 bucks back in my pocket and uh, free and clear. And I don't even watch Amazon anymore. Video Prime. It's just junk. And like I said, they filled it with commercials. Uh, nothing's good on. Netflix has maybe a couple shows worth stomaching some of the series, but it's good without, without uh, commercials. The Office I like, nobody carries that. So I went and bought the DVD set and uh, maybe I'll buy Friends because I don't think you can watch Friends anywhere without commercials. So I want commercial free, again, for many reasons as mentioned. All right, go forth. That's all I got. Quick little way to save money. Cut your subscriptions. Cut your memberships. Shop elsewhere. Look around. Get the Capital One Chrome browser extension. It will show you if you have the best price. And it'll also show you if you have a coupon. They'll give you coupon codes to try on any site. It's amazing. You, you'll end up saving hundreds of dollars a year with that app. I'm telling you, I don't have any, any uh, affiliation with the damn thing. It just works for me. I don't even know where I got it from. Someone mentioned it, or I saw it on someone's video a couple of years ago. And I've saved, let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm I'm gonna to show you guys. Let's see. Is that it? S. 
Capital One. Save now. Oh, it doesn't tell me how much I saved. Wait. I think I've saved like 400 bucks just in coupon codes. Oh, I have to log in. I'm not going to log in. All right. Oh, look, you can see it up here on my screen. Look, 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 look. It'll show you. You can get $1,600 rewards. It'll, it'll tell you on the site you're looking at or wherever you're at if you get rewards and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Or if you're checking out in a shopping cart and you're in the checkout and has enter discount code, blah, blah, blah. It'll actually go through. If you click on the S up here and there's an S little extension icon you can't see, it'll go through and put these codes in. Bam! I've saved up to 40 bucks, half off sometimes. It's like, this is awesome, man. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. You get the best price as is. And then you just wait, wait a week, and then boom, you'll get half off or something on a coupon code that pops up. It's <laughs> lesson here is put stuff in your cart and then wait. And most times on some stores, say you're buying clothing or something, you put stuff in your cart, you'll start getting annoying emails saying, hey, you left stuff in your cart, you left stuff in your cart. What are you going to do? Here's a here's 20 percent off for you to close out that cart and buy it. They give you coupons if you put stuff in your cart and you wait. I'm telling you, 24 hours, you start getting these emails. Hey, your card has stuff in it. You forgot some stuff. You'll, they'll send you a coupon in the email. Come on, man. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, right? There you go. All right, just little stupid tips that are popping in my head as I uh, saw this Amazon thing. I feel like I've been taken for a ride from Amazon Prime. You're not getting anything for it. You're getting the same as if you were just buying as a normal person without Prime, just meeting the minimum spend and getting free shipping. And again, like I said, Amazon Prime Video is crap. It's all commercials. It's all junk. Save your money. Blah, 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 blah. You get the point. But again, you got to be self-disciplined. A lot of people watch videos. They see good tips. They don't do a damn thing about it. And they remain broke. Uh, I mean, this money adds up over time, guys. So think of it that way. All right. Go forth. See you on the next one. I'm out of here. I am out of here. How do I stop this recording?